<clears throat> Hi, Carl Schilling here with you. And today, wanted to continue along in what we're going to call Financial Concierge University. So we want to get all of this on tape. Um, and on Mondays, just so you know, for our agents as well, we, we will have a Facebook Live and uh, we do have a YouTube group. We'd like to get everybody in the YouTube group and we'll have some live sessions on YouTube as well. So that's where we'll do live things. And for now, we'll work here on uh, recorded uh, videos, okay? So uh, again, it's all about the message. We want to start out there and uh, in, in following up on our uh, first module, uh, let's take a peek here um, on, um, oh, let's make sure we're sharing the screen first, okay? Yeah. Uh, so I don't think we're sharing the screen. So let me hit share screen, right? Uh, let's make sure I do share screen. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now, um, I'll take me out of the picture for you, and we go back to our um, – Let's go back to our uh, beginning financial concierge university. The whole idea, uh, folks, is to get agents really focused on increasing your production, increasing uh, the value you offer uh, the clients that you're looking to uh, create, okay? So, again, your message to people is simply that you help people uh, create and or attain financial independence. And your best interest is our only concern. So when the people feel that, they'll know that you're an advocate. And as an advocate, you're positioned differently. So here's our mission statement so we've, we've got it. And this would be a good thing to know. Know it by heart so you understand. The Advocacy Network is focused on the elimination of all forms of financial victimization. We accomplish this by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping people attain financial independence. Now, we also train and develop financial concierges who are financial services professionals and who will deliver our entire platform to help people attain financial independence. And that's basically our mission. That's who we are. So our promise, once again, as a financial concierge, the promise is your best interest is our only concern. Now, I mean that from you, to you as a financial concierge. You mean that as a financial concierge to a prospect, okay? And you mean that, you mean that as well to a, a client, okay? So what is a financial concierge? So as a financial concierge, here is what you are, okay? You're a financial advocate. Remember, as an advocate, you're in a different position. An advocate is one who basically speaks for those who can't speak for themselves. So if you were selling life insurance to families as an advocate, you're speaking for those who are not speaking up in this meeting. Now, a husband and a wife can certainly speak up, but children can't. Uh, the future of that family can't speak up. The future you of that person sitting there can't speak up. So you're speaking for all of those. So when you speak with someone that way, you're able to say, hey, uh, John, uh, I appreciate the time we're spending, but I, I, let me clarify some things so you understand my intent and, and let me get this out in the open, okay? First of all, I'm getting ready to have a conversation with you which nobody wants to have, and I understand that. I appreciate that. Life insurance is a discussion that by its very nature brings up some negative thoughts, and, and I want to work through that. But as your advocate, I want you to realize that I'm speaking tonight for your future, the future you who uh, can't uh, speak up for themselves right now because we're here in the present. I'm speaking for the family that uh, down the road in the future can't speak up for themselves. And I'm speaking for your children. They're not going to sit here. They're not going to listen to this. And again, they rely on you to just provide for them. And they trust that. So that's what this conversation is going to be about. We're going to have that, but we're also going to expand it into how that also impacts and can affect your future financial independence. So it's not all about the subject of death or dying, but it's also about the subject of living and celebrating and having financial independence. So hopefully that makes sense. Now that's an opening that's an opening presentation, real brief, to a, uh, to a potential prospect as you're sitting across the table. You're a financial guy. In such, you're going to help people become financially independent. And most importantly, you're a financial coach. People need to rely on you. A coach is someone that helps somebody become better than they are presently, but helps them reach and attain 
the actual potential they have. So as a coach, you want to help people reach that, that potential of being financially independent because everybody can, but so few do. So in module one, we, we discussed the message, and I want you to recognize a, a little bit of a, a motto for us, okay, going forward. You need, and when you speak to others about becoming financial concierges or recruiting into your own agencies, you need to find people with an open mind who are coachable, they're committed, and they're persistent. These are the qualities of a financial uh, concierge. So if people don't have these qualities, don't knock yourself out. Open-minded, coachable, committed, and persistent. Obviously, when they refuse to listen to what you're talking about, they're not open-minded, okay? And uh, oh, non-open-minded people are not um, basically uh, coachable as well, okay, because they're not open-minded. So let's just compare why the advocacy network of being a financial concierge is so different from other positions in our industry, okay? Well, first of all, we are focused on becoming specialists. Now, as a specialist, we have a simple message. That's all about financial independence, nothing else. All the tools, all the mechanisms, all of the processes we uh, provide are all with one thought in mind, and that's about becoming financially independent. So we have a unique approach. The unique approach is because we're speaking about financial independence, okay, and other people are just not. We've got a single business vertical. Now, we have several verticals you can choose from. We'll go into that on training, but we have a single business vertical. So the mindset as a financial concierge is that you are in one single business vertical, and that is giving you market cooperation because you stay in that lane. You stay in that one area of being a specialist. Now, we want you to grow into an authority, but you're starting out as a specialist. Now, competitors, here's what they are. They're all generalist and they're all unfocused because they're generalists. A generalist is all things to all people at all times and all places. Now think about that. That means that there's 330 million people in America roughly, and that means that a generalist is basically unfocused on all 330 million people. Anybody, anytime, anywhere, anyone will do. They usually are pitching a single need. That could be a mortgage or final expense or term insurance. Uh, a lot of them now are selling term insurance digitally because people are searching the net for their term insurance needs. But there's more to it to become financially independent than simply buying a term policy. There's certainly more to it than just simply buying a single needs policy to protect your mortgage or a single needs policy to protect your final expenses. They're in a the white noise approach. Everybody else is yelling the same message that they are because they're all generalists and they're all unfocused. They're all things to all people and unfortunately, sadly, it puts them in a position of being a product peddler. So their marketing is really conceptually horseshoes and hand grenade marketing. Anytime, anywhere, anybody. So you have to stay away from that, okay? Now, part of our message, as we did before, uh, for you to really focus in on is we're the richest nation in the world. We've got the high, but at the same time, we've got the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. Now, why is that? And that is because most people are unaware of the need for financial literacy education. They're not, they don't know what they don't know. They're not aware of the fact that they don't know something that is so valuable for them to become financially independent. So they have no idea. Now, at the end of the day, 95% end up dead, dead broke, or financially dependent. Now, they, that, that dependence is uh, family, friends, social networks, church, and worst of all, governmental agencies. I'm here from the government, and I'm here to help you. We all know that that's a lie. Okay, so only 5% attain financial independence. That's what you're all about. That's what you want to help people do. And basically, that financial concierge is going to be the one that guides you on the path to attain financial independence. And this is truly what a financial concierge is. And it's what a financial concierge focuses on. All right, so if you notice in the bottom, we've got learn, earn, teach, reach, and expand. And that's what we want you to do. Learn, earn, teach, reach, and expand. Now, module two was about the golden rules. Once again, uh, open mind, co coachable, committed, and persistent. 
But the three golden rules for financial independence, you have that white paper. I'll give it to you so you can use it. You should get it to people. Basically, the three golden rules are this. You need to be counterintuitive. You need to know where the puck is going to be. You need to follow the law of multiplicity. And you need to have a unpenetrable, non-pierceable value proposition. So in that, uh, you must maintain, you have to help people understand that they have to have a clear counterintuitive mind. They always have to be seeking the best way to accomplish their goals. Not just set their goals, but the best way to accomplish their goals. And this is what an open mind does, because an open mind sees opportunities that others miss. An open mind is one that starts to value and take in the uh, entrepreneurial mindset, the ability to think entrepreneurially. Now, the law of multiplicity is pretty simple in this case. Because really what we're telling people is they must, they must know the three types of income and they must seek to create multiple streams of income in those three types of income. So they have to have minimally the three types of income. And if they don't, they're going to be in a 95% because that's what happens to the 95%. Now the three types of income are simple, direct, residual, and passive. Direct income simply means that you work, whatever it is you do, Whatever you get compensated for, however you're compensated, you're compensated for that effort and that work. Residual means that you continue to get paid on that effort and that work without doing any future work. And that's residual income. That's income that continues to come to you for work that you've already done. And then you have passive income. Passive income is getting the money, the residual dollars, the direct dollars, those dollars to work for you. Now you're creating income on top of the income. So you're compounding the income itself into more income, and that's passively. Nothing else. The money is working for itself. And the third rule is the unshakable value proposition. You need to help people understand that they must create and establish this impenetrable value proposition. This means that they have something that they can offer in the form of value that's going to provide something for others that in return provides compensation for them by providing this value. For you, it's easy. You understand your value proposition is all the things you do to help someone become financially independent. That's your value proposition. And you get compensated for all of those things. But when people just have direct income and that's all they have, they don't have a distinguishable value proposition. Because all they do is they trade time for money or they trade some form of a skill or a talent for money. That's all they do. That one thing. And every January 1st, they wake up and start over again. So every day is a new event. And every day is just a matter of earning that direct income for that day. If they don't show up and do something that day, they don't earn any income. This is why people never make it to financial independence. So... The 95% never, ever achieve the three levels of income. They always, for the most part, rely on direct income only. Now, the three golden rules are pretty simple for you because once you help people start to understand these three golden rules, it starts to lay the foundation. Now, what I've done, and it's a long time coming and it took a while, but I finally got it up. That's what I sent to you for the teachable At Teachable, you now have the course, the Financial Independence course, Financial Transformation. That is a unique, counterintuitive course on financial literacy education. It's a totally different look. It's a totally different concept. We're trying to help people understand these things we're talking about so it makes your life easier. Because if the course teaches them that, if they hear it consistently, all you have to do from there is sort of guide them along because they've got the foundation and they've got the fundamentals from the course. So all you need to do at that point is follow up and follow through. And of course, you must develop the relationship because the relationship is going to be different. The relationship requires that it's different things for different people at different times. Not everybody's in the same circumstance, but you provide the solutions and you get paid for that. And you create three different streams of income, but at the same time, multiple streams of those three types of income. You can have as many as nine types of income, 12 types of income. 
And that is what's going to help you become financially independent. Okay, now module three, we're gonna go into the three stages of you and we're not gonna do that today, okay? Uh, we're going to come back on that, but I wanted to get this done for us. So today, we got to discuss the message a little again, reinforce the message once again about the 95.5, about why people need financial literacy education, about how you can help people become financially independent. Then we expand to the three golden rules. The three golden rules are pretty simple. Go where the puck is going to be. You've got to be counterintuitive. You've got to be counterintuitive thinking. You've got to have an open mindset. And you've got to not just listen to all of the white noise and all the nonsense out there. Uh, secondly, you've got to expand by the rule of multiplicity. You have to have three types of income, direct, residual, and passive, and that is the law of multiplicity, taking advantage of it. And lastly, you've got to have an un impenetrable, unbreakable value proposition, something that makes you different, something that makes people want to do business with you, something that makes you a particular value to them, and that's a relationship. Okay, so as usual, I will uh, fire this up onto Enfuse, and uh, you know, I don't have to go in the beginning, you know you'll see the little uh, prompts, you'll have uh, some areas there, you can download the white paper, uh, show you how to use Enfuse yourself, so you can send it out to a person, and they can download the three uh, golden rules white paper, you can follow up on that, that's how you can build appointments, how you can build meetings, you can do workshops, you can do uh, all kinds of group settings. You can do employment uh, situations with businesses to help them with financial literacy, educate. It's, it's, it's never ending. We're going to get into it in the course about the different business verticals for you, okay? You're going to get to choose a business vertical so that you can become a specialist, not a generalist. If you're a generalist, stop right now. Because I know if you look at last year, if you look at what you're just filing in taxes this year, and you look at what you filed in taxes last year, you either are a little ahead, you're not ahead at all, or you're behind if you're a generalist. You know that's true. I don't have to tell you that. I really don't. You know it. You may not want to admit it. You may not want to look at it, but you know it. If you become a specialist, you're going to get two, two and a half times more income next year. So look at, those, um, look at those tax forms this year and recognize that next year you're going to earn two to two and a half times more simply by following through on what we're talking about. All right. Thanks again for your time. Uh, I will be doing a Live at Five today on Facebook, uh, so you can go in there and the advocacy, you know, look up for the Advocacy Network, uh, advocacy network Facebook. I, I, believe we're, um, I believe we're Advocacy Network um, uh, 3220. I believe that's it, but uh, I will uh, have it out for you, and you know you'll you'll find it. Just go to Carl Schilling on the Facebook, and then find the Advocacy Network too. Okay. Um, hope everybody's doing great. Uh, please follow up. Please follow through. And next year, I think you're going to find uh, a tremendous difference in your uh, financial independence. Have a great day.